This video will show you how to do a more in-depth cleaning of the mortar and pestle. As you can see here, it looks like someone might have tried to clean this one. It's uh, not too dirty there, but along the edges there's still quite a bit left over. And that doesn't come off with just wiping it down with uh, isopropanol and a chem wipe. So if you find out that you have these marks still in your uh, mortar, and you just can't get rid of them, then please do this so that uh, it's clean for the next person that comes in. There really isn't much to this. You just pour in a little bit of sand. You don't need too much. And then a little bit of isopropanol. And then grind it like you would a sample. This one has some, you know, dirty marks on the side, so I'm going to tilt it a little bit extra and really try to grind it there. If the sand is feeling rather smooth or if you think that you might be done, then go ahead and wipe everything out and clean it. I'll wipe that off. See, there's a little bit of dirty marks on the side there. I might just take some of that sand, kind of scrub at it. And that seems to be doing a pretty good job of uh, getting those darker marks off the pestle. Not perfect, but it's looking better. that to the side. Then I will basically just take this over to a trash can, kind of wipe out all the sand, throw it away. It's looking better. It still has quite a few marks in it. Uh, sometimes you're going to find that you have to do this process multiple times. I'm going to wind up uh, continuing this off camera because it's very difficult to try to grind this all while on camera. So I'll be right back and we'll see if I can get this looking any better. This is after my next cleaning. So it might be a little tough to see, but there's still a little, you know, a little bit of marks in there, but it's looking a lot better. So let me try that one more time. And there we go. That's looking pretty darn clean to me. At this point, after just wiping it out or trying to clean out the sand the best I can, I would just recommend that you take another chem wipe, wet it down with something like isopropanol, acetone, something, and then just do one final cleaning inside to try to wipe out any um, maybe sand dust or whatever that might be left over. And then normally what I would do is take this to, um, if you have a source of compressed air or compressed gas, just take it over to that and uh, blow it out just to make sure that any um, sand that might be still sticking to it gets blown off. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you clean one of these uh, mortar and pestles. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise... Benjamin and I both thank you for watching, and we hope you have a great day.